Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto and the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost over 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you are looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Tips. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so glad that you stopped by to check in on me on 2022 weigh-in update. Um, last week I did a big carb week and this week I went back to low carb. So I'm excited to share with you my results of whether or not it worked a little better this week or if it worked better last week. First off, before I get started, I know that someone is gonna ask me, so I am going to tell you what is on my lips today. <laughs> I always get that question and since I'm changing what I'm doing so much, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna say what it is because I'm not gonna remember later. Um, I am today wearing a lip liner from Wet n Wild. It is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout in Bear to Comment, and I have it all over the lip. On top of that, I am wearing this Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon in 120 Can't Even. And on top of that, I have this Lux Lip Oil from ColourPop in the shade Emperor, which is really, really fun. It's like this pretty golden shade. I love it. So cute. Anyway, so moving on. Today I'm wearing like the uh, sweater that Janet Greta got me back, back in the day a little while ago. And I thought with this the peachy orange that I'd do a little peachy orange look with my eyes so here we are i usually do more cool tones and this is something new so yeah welcome back to another video um if you're new here in these videos i'm just chitty chatting about all of the things that happened this week including showing you everything i ate at least to a degree and also a 360 body view of how my body changed this week and also weigh-ins every single day showing you if my weight changed based on what I chose to eat. Um, six months ago, almost seven months ago, actually, I had a lower body lift, including muscle repair, a fleur de -lis incision, and a medial thigh lift. So I am still in recovery from surgery, and my body is not really wanting to do the whole diet thing. I do not love the number on the scale, but I do love what I see in the mirror. So I'm in this weird juxtaposition where I'm fighting with my brain about whether or not I need to actually diet. Every day I tell myself I'm gonna do a deficit today and every day at the end of the day, I'm just like, nope, I don't really feel like that. So I digress, I'm doing the best that I can. So if you're here to just learn about keto, this is maybe not the be best video for you. This is kind of me figuring out maintenance post getting to my goal, post getting my surgery for removal of loose skin and this is a whole new chart in uncharted territory for me. But if you are looking for the videos on how to get started with keto, I definitely have a whole bunch of playlists that will get you started. So go to my main channel page, click on play playlists and look for the right one for you. You can also join us on my Facebook group for free coaching and help and support. And the link to that is in the about section below, as well as all the links on how you can support the channel. The products that I share in this video, or you should be linked below. And I usually have discount codes also available for you to use all the time. So if you're looking to buy products uh, that you see me eating or using, they're usually linked in the about section below. All right that all out of the way. So last week, like I mentioned, I did a whole week where I did higher carbs so that I could try to do lower sodium so that I could try and get rid of some of the edema in my legs. It did not work. So if you missed that video, you should go back and check it, but it did not work. Um, I did not put on major weight during that week. I thought I might, but I ate the same amount of calories I had been eating, which was maintenance calories, and I stayed basically the same weight. In fact, I dropped. Um, a pound and a half, I think, during that week, which 
So there you go, go figure. A lot of people think that carbs make you gain weight and they do not make you gain weight. What carbs do is that they allow glycogen to be your fuel of choice and your body will store glycogen in your muscle tissues and in the liver and it will use water to retain that glycogen in the system. When you're eating keto and you switch fuels, you're switching over to using ketones that are made by using up body fat and a dietary fat, your body doesn't need that body water and so you'll tend to drop that water weight, which is why you have to supplement sodium, magnesium, and potassium while on keto. So me, I was trying to get to the point where I could lower my sodium because the doctor was trying to convince me that it's my high sodium levels that I do that was causing my edema in my legs. Well, needless to say, I did that and I suffered really badly from horrible, um, low electrolyte issue, like body issues, and I didn't drop any of the water weight in my legs. I'm still carrying that water weight. So this week I went back on having more, more keto days than not keto. I'm not fully keto anymore. Um, I do like to have some carbs, especially if I'm gonna be exercising. And I kind of am in the habit of doing Sunday and Monday carbs and then the rest of the week um, more keto days. And so my average of carbs tends to end up being a little higher than keto, but not really high. Like we're talking like, you know, 70, you know, something like that, between 50 and 70. So most of the time I do eat fairly ketogenic. So I know that's like clear as mud, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So I, all that to say this week setting out, I don't always record everything. Sometimes I will eat more, a couple more built bars after dinner, or I'll take some to the dance studio and forget to record it. So take this video with a grain of salt, literally. Um, I don't always show every single thing I put in my mouth. Okay. I'm showing you my main meals. I try really hard not to snack outside of meals, but I don't always show every single thing that I eat like I used to. I used to, and I have those videos for you if you wanna watch them, but now I'm just like, this is just kind of like for me to keep reference and for you guys to just kind of see what I'm doing for entertainment purposes, not necessarily education purposes. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right, so that all being said, let's get to the food. it is two o'clock or afternoon on a Monday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. Now Mondays I usually do a few higher carbs than my regular days because it's my exercise day but alas my breakfast did not turn out how I had intended and it's kind of weird but it is what it is. I'm gonna eat it at this point. Can't waste food. So here is what I'm having for my first meal of the day. I made a banana keto chow ice cream, which I had high hopes for, but I was out of Premier Protein Banana Shake. And so to, to put the water in it, I used coconut milk, which is great, but I added um, an actual banana for sweetener, for also for carbs, 100 grams of banana. And then of course I added a little bit of heavy cream to make it creamy. Um, this is just ice. So ice, coconut milk, half of a keto chow banana protein packet, um, 100 grams of banana, there's 17 grams of Lily chocolate chips in here, and I think, oh, I put in some banana sugar-free pudding mix, half of a package, about 12 grams, you know, to try and, like, cream it up, but it ended up being only 17 grams of protein and, like, 400 calories, which is kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. I got to gonna eat it and so in order to make up the protein I decided to do these because these are super low in carbs super high in protein and super low in calories these are only I think a hundred calories yeah a hundred calories and each package has 16 protein so that'll pretty much I don't even know if I need the built bar I might just end up eating one or two one of these maybe in the built bar yeah I was thinking I needed two but 16 that might be pretty good so anyway that's what I'm having for my first meal of the day 
Alrighty guys, it's 10 o'clock at night. Finally eating after having my big dance classes back on this week. It was painful and yet my brain actually worked today, so that was nice. And I'm still doing the carbs tonight. So this is Hawaiian haystacks. I have 155 grams of actual long grain cooked rice topped by eight ounces of chicken breast, some gravy made with bouillon, uh, 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese, 60 grams of tomatoes, 30 grams of pineapple, 5 grams of green onion, 10 grams of slivered almonds, and 20 grams of olives. I think that's everything. Yeah. Looks delicious, and that's going to be my last meal of the day. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, it's two o'clock on Tuesday. I'm back on lower carb, much lower carb, almost keto, and I am back to my regular food. So this is gonna be my first meal of the day. I'm having lemon blueberry yogurt. So this is just 300 grams of Greek yogurt, 0% fat, mixed with lemon juice and lemonade Mio water enhancer. I have 30 grams of blueberries on top and 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream. I am having 44 grams of center cut bacon, a piece of Monterey Colby Jack cheese, a fried egg, and a Bilt Bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 8 o'clock. I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I'm having taco salad. This is one package of Quest chips. 6 ounces of 93.7 ground beef. 60 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. 30 grams of sour cream. 60 grams of salsa. 60 grams of onion, 47 grams of lettuce, and I think that's it. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is Wednesday. It is 1.46 on Wednesday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I'm having my same yogurt, same macros except for today. 40 grams of blueberries instead of 30. I'm having an egg. Yes, my chicken's laid an egg. I'm so happy. 36 grams of center cut bacon, a piece of cheese, and a Bilt Bar. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, guys. It's 8.30 and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. I'm having broccoli chicken alfredo. This is 155 grams of broccoli topped with 6 ounces of chicken breast. 120 grams of Bertoli alfredo sauce. 60 grams of... Um, fat-free mozzarella cheese. I've got 60 grams of mushrooms also in there. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty, everyone. It's 2 o'clock on Thursday. And I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I am having yogurt, same macros as usual. 41 grams of center cut bacon, an egg, a piece of cheese, and a belt bar. Bet you couldn't guess. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, guys. It's 9 o'clock, and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. They've made me these chicken nuggets that I had the other day. They basically made with a half a cup of cheese, 12 and a half can grams of canned chicken, and an egg. And then I'm having some G. Hughes uh, clickin', Cluckin' Chicken Sauce or something like that. Some celery and a package of Quest Chips. And that's going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty, guys. It is 2 o'clock on Friday, and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I'm having the same yogurt as every day. 38 grams of bacon, piece of cheese, egg... And a boat bar. That's going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, guys. It's 7.30. I'm home from dance, and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. Tonight, I'm having spaghetti squash spaghetti. So I have 200 grams of spaghetti squash, topped by 4 grams of butter. And then on the top of that, I have 6 ounces of 93.7 ground beef, 200 grams of Lucini marinara, and 30 grams of Parmesan cheese. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 2 o'clock on Saturday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I am having my same as usual, yogurt, egg, cheese, built bar, and 38 grams of Oscar Mayer center cut bacon because I'm all out of dailies and that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 9.30 on Saturday. I'm finally having my final meal of the day. I am having lettuce wrap burgers, so I'm having two great value 85.15 patties. 
two pieces of Colby Monterey Jack cheese, 50 grams of tomato, 20 grams of onion, and I think it's eight grams of sugar-free G Hughes barbecue sauce. I'm also gonna have a built bar with this and that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 2.30 on Sunday. It is my eating carbs day. So when I do a low car lower carb week, I like to do carbs on Sunday and Monday because I have my exercise class on Monday night. So I am having a Canyon House gluten-free bagel with 60 grams of Lando Frost ham, an egg, and two slices of provolone cheese. I'm having some Quest protein chips, a Built Bar, and some low-fat cottage cheese mixed with 30 grams of blueberries and 20 grams of sugar-free Smucker's raspberry jam. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. All right, guys, I'm having three gluten-free tortillas, 150 grams of cooked ground beef, um, 60 grams of salsa, 30 grams of set cheese, and 30 grams of sour cream. I'm also going to be having one of these when I cut it, and that's going to be the last meal of the day. So there you can see my weigh-ins and my 360. Like last week, not much change at all has occurred. Um, let's go over the calories because I haven't been putting the calories in the videos, mostly because probably not recording every single thing I eat, like I said before. And I just feel like it just takes so much work to put the calories in the videos. I know, I'm lazy, what can I say? There's only so much YouTubing I can do and I'm already behind, so I'm just trying to keep up. At this point, I'm doing the best that I can. So for let's discuss weights to begin with, since you saw all of my weights. That first weight was up from last week by, let's make sure I get that right. It was up a pound. So the very first week of the week, weigh in of the week was up a pound from my last weigh in last week. And that was because of course, which you probably saw in last week's video, I went out with Dave, we went to get prime rib and we went to the movies after which I did not film the movie snacks I ate which I believe I ate like popcorn some lily gummy gummy no lily gummy worms and a package of milk duds yeah gotta have me a treat every once in a while um so that's why there was that probably uptick in weight at the beginning of the week then um we had just kind of like bouncing in the same area so that first weigh in was 195.6 then I went into 194.2, 193.8, 195.2, 194.8, 193.6, .8, 193 and 193.4 for an average of 194.3, which was up 0.7, little over half a pound from last week. So let's recap. Last week I was down 1.7. The week before that I was up 1.7. Today I'm down, I'm, I'm up. 0.7, so I'm not a whole 0.7, so hey, doing good, right? <laughs> and who knows what's gonna happen next week? I don't know. But I'm basically maintaining, basically maintaining. And if you look at my calories, there's a reason for that. So don't get me wrong. Um, I, and a lot of people keep giving me advice, like what if you got rid of the bars, or what if you got rid of the, you know, eat, eat clean, or what if you go back to eating the way you did at the beginning? Yeah, you know what? If I went back to eating under 1300 calories, I would probably lose weight. I just can't. I don't want to. I have no desire to do that. I spent seven months reverse dieting to get my calories up to 2150, and I like them there. <laughs> it's hard for me to convince my brain that it wants to do anything different, apparently because I fight it all the time and it wins. And that's not like I'm overeating or gaining weight or any, doing anything crazy or binge eating or doing anything wrong. So when I'm giving you this information, I'm not giving you this information to say like, oh darn, I failed, I'm not losing weight. No, what I'm trying to show you is that I'm eating 
maintenance calories and that's why I'm not losing weight. It has nothing to do with how my calories are distributed. It has everything to do with the fact that I'm eating too much for losing weight. But I'm eating the right amount, obviously, to maintain since I've pretty much basically maintained my weight since I began this whole effort in October. <laughs> I'm same weight, same, 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 all across the board, which is kind of frustrating, but it's understandable because I'm really just not in it to win it. You have to be in it to win it, and I'm just not. It's not cutting FaceTime yet. I don't know when it's gonna be. I don't know when all of a sudden we'll get excited about cutting, but for now, it's not now. So I'm sorry if that's disappointing or boring, but it is what it is, is what's happening in my life. I'm not gonna change it just because I'm worried about YouTube views, <laughs> so. If you're here, it's because you really wanna know what I'm doing, and this is the honest truth of what I'm doing. Okay, so calories. That day I went out with Dave, um, I ate 2880 calories with only 164 protein, which isn't, you know, the best. It was a high carb because of that candy, 224, and my fats was 136, so that was fairly high as well. So obviously Sunday this last week was a fun day, and you know what, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. You just, just depends on what's going on in my life. We wanted to go out and we did. Okay, the very next day I tried to curb that down. So my Monday calories were 1570, but then I was like, eh, forget that. Um, Tuesday calories were 1873, then 2125, which is pretty much my maintenance, then 2000, then 2033, and then 1731 trying to take a last minute one for the team um, before the end of the week with for an average of 2030 calories which is about 120 calorie per day deficit. So even though it's, and that's of course, you know, with not exercise, me being sedentary, which is what I was this week. So even though I ate basically in maintenance, I did have a teeny tiny little deficit. Who knows if it'll do anything for me? Probably won't, but at least I'm making an effort and I'm definitely not overeating, which is huge. For someone who has been almost 400 pounds, not overeating for this many years is like literally shocking. Like, it's been six years since I've had a full on screw it binge fest. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing, right? I mean, come on. Who doesn't, who can't be proud of that? Like, I am so proud. So, the thing I'm most proud about this week is I, last week I had a huge calorie amount like that too. Okay, not huge, but I was 2144, but my protein level was 176. And I really like to keep my protein 40% of my calories because the thermic effect of food, I basically, I'm getting more food for my calorie budget, filling up more for my calorie budget and eating less energy for my calorie budget. Does that make sense? So giving my body the opportunity to burn some body fat should it so desire and need extra fuel. So this week, I actually hit 203 average grams of protein. That was literally exactly what I needed to hit for 2030 calories. The easy way to figure out 40% of your calories from protein is to take your calorie number and just do amount of grams in 10%. So 2030 would be 203 grams. And that's exactly what I did. Isn't that awesome? So carbs were averaged out to 70, which is pretty decent considering my 227 day on Sunday. That means a lot of my days were in the 30s, which is really great. And fats were 87, which is a little on the high-ish side but considering I was doing a lot more low carb, it's acceptable that fats are gonna be higher. And I love that they're kind of almost, you know, even 70 and 87 um, across the calories. They're kind of split. So I consider it a successful week. Um, I did what I set out to do. Maybe I didn't keep in a deficit, but at this point, I think I'm just kind of over that idea. I am accepting that maintenance is probably what I'm doing for the near and future time. Um, we're coming into dance competition season and it's always a miracle if I survive that without gaining 20 pounds. I tend to not track and just eat all day. There will be a lot of built bar eatage. I've seriously contemplated doing a week of 
a built bar fast which so many people give me such a hard time about built bars wouldn't that be funny if i did like a whole week of built bars only and like lost weight or something because i would eat like 10 a day and that's like 1300 to 1500 calories depending on which bars i ate so that would be a huge deficit that would be a good experiment but i don't know we'll see i have plenty of built bars i'm trying to get through them if people wonder why i eat so many it's partially because i don't want them to go bad and they're sitting on my shelf like becoming hard rocks now i could have put them in the freezer but i don't really have a deep freeze and i'm not going to go into the reasons why i don't have them in my freezer so you don't need to tell me but i'm just saying sometimes i eat them just to get them off my shelf which probably isn't the best choice but if i'm going to choose to eat something late at night or after dinner to fill up on filling up on a protein packed built bar is a lot better choice than filling up on a candy bar or popcorn so I mean, even popcorn sometimes isn't that bad if you get the smart pop kind and you don't get the high calorie kind. So it just depends. Anyway, that's where I'm sitting for this week. There is no exercise for you this week because the week previous, my daughter had COVID and this week, I kind of worried that I might come down with it and so I was being extra careful and I did not go to my dance class on Monday because I thought if for some reason I did have COVID, which by the way, I did not end up getting COVID, but if I had picked it up and I was contagious, jumping around and breathing on all of these girls in dance class would probably not be the best choice, so I actually didn't go to class. But I'm looking forward to getting back to it next week. I'm excited about that, so there's no cute, exercise clips for you today but hopefully we'll be back at that next week and anyway that's it for today i don't have anything else to chit chat about unless we want to talk about makeup again by the way this stuff smells really really good my kids joke that when they grow up and they smell cocoa or the cocoa butter i don't even know what this smells like it's kind of like coconut and it i i don't know chocolate Anyway, it's Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and my kids said, joke that this is going to be the smell that they remember being what mama smelled like, and I was like, oh, which is really funny because I bought this this week because it's still an awesome powder, and this has been around since the 1930s. Probably my grandma used this, and also my mother, and when I smell this, I smell my mama. Isn't that funny? <laughs> how scent can change your memories or become part of your memories or trigger memories, I guess. Good grief, why am I getting all verklempt? My mother is alive. It's not like she's dead or something. <sighs> Calm down. Anyway, I just think it's super cute. And so I'm, I'm just gonna be like, for the rest of my life, when I smell this, I'm gonna think, oh, my girls love that I smell like that. You guys wanna smell it? It's so good. All right. Okay, that's enough makeup for today. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you all again soon.